email communication hasn't changed much over the last few decades since it first became popular. Most of the lingo we use today is still the same. We borrowed many of the terms associated with emails from the days when we communicated using paper mail. CC and BCC are perfect examples of this, but what does it all mean? CC stands for carbon copy. When you type someone's address in this field, you'll send a copy of your email to them. The term comes from the days when communicating through paper was extremely common. Everyone made copies of documents by placing a sheet of carbon paper between two sheets of regular paper. When the pen applied pressure on the top sheet, the writing was transferred to the bottom one thanks to the carbon paper itself. This allowed people to make and send copies quickly without having to write everything out in duplicate. Email carbon copies may no longer involve carbon paper, but the principle is the same. You send copies of your email to other people. So when someone tells you to CC them, they want a copy of a mail that you're sending to someone else. For example, if you're communicating with a client, you might want to CC your manager so they can keep track of the conversation. BCC stands for blind carbon copy, and it works like CC with one major difference. When you CC someone, the recipients of your email will see who else received the email. Both the person or persons in the to field and the CC field will be able to see each other's email addresses. BCC adds a layer of secrecy. Only the sender can see the list, and the BCC recipient will only see their email address in the BCC field, even if the sender added more than one person. When privacy is required, use the BCC field. For example, if you're having an email conversation with a customer and you need to tag your manager, you should send a blind carbon copy. There's no reason for your customer to know that someone else is being kept in the loop. Now that you know what CC and BCC mean, you're probably wondering why you should ever send a CC instead of just adding everyone to the to field. As mentioned earlier, everyone can see who was added to the CC list. Technically, CC isn't any different from the main to field, so why use it? The answer is simple, it's etiquette. The to section is reserved for the main recipient or recipients. They're the ones directly involved with the subject of the email you're sending. You should use the CC field to send a copy of that email to other parties that might be interested in information, now or in the future. CC is useful when you want someone else to have a copy of the email in case they need it, but the person who receives the CC is not expected to reply to your messages. BCC should be used to keep the main recipient unaware of who else is receiving a copy of the email. However, it's also useful if you need to email a long list of people and you don't want to expose their email addresses to one another. There's no need for everyone involved to see dozens of email addresses attached to their email. Remember that the receiver of a BCC can only see their address in the BCC field. The others remain hidden. That said, none of this is written in stone. There are no set rules. Many people and companies might choose to use these email fields in different ways. For more basic email terms and rules, check out the article in the link below. Also, remember that you should never, ever use reply all unless you really actually want to reply to everyone CC in the email, which you probably don't. See you next time.